with hidden rooms so weird and eerie sounds. This list Wait shows a second. exactly how creepy Mr. No, what the f <laughs> Is this the Burger King foot lettuce guy? And this particular Oh, right what? Here scares the bejesus out of me. Yeah. Oh my So needless to say, our next Mother <laughs> What if I come up here? All right. What are you doing? I'm working, okay? <laughs> I'm, I'm working. Hey, it's your boy Nick A. I'm here today. Chad, I should be a singer for real, for real. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh yeah. It's been a while. It's been a few days, okay? It's been such a long time. Shut the frick. Guys, I found this channel called Chills, right? And I was like, damn. Daddy be getting the chills when he beat. No, I'm just playing. <laughs> oh. I saw like this video and I was like scrolling around. I've seen a few. This one looks interesting as freak, but I wanted to watch this one called From 12 Secret. Scariest Things Found in Basement. Why do I want to watch this? I don't have an answer for you. But it looks good. Not this shit. Shut your mouth, Broken Heart 7. This is why you got a broken heart. All right. We're going to watch this. Buy chills. And we're going to see if it's good. Okay? I don't know if it's good. But we're going to give it a shot. Hidden rooms so weird and eerie sounds. This list Wait a second. exactly how creepy No, what the f <laughs> Is this the Burger King foot lettuce guy? Wait a second. I swear on my life, chat. I did not know. Is this the Burger King foot lettuce guy? Listen to his voice. From secret hidden rooms, rooms to weird and eerie sounds. sounds. What is that? This shows exactly how creepy, mysterious, and sometimes haunted old basements really, really are. are. No Why is he talking child. like that, bro? Basements are where hidden <laughs> secrets are Chat, he's gotta be, right? This has to be the Burger, the Burger King foot lettuce guy. Hold on. I'm not tripping. I am not tripping, bro. Is this it? Number 15, Burger King foot lettuce. <laughs> as it turns out, that might be. Vents <laughs> often serve as a place for troubled minds. <laughs> this That's him! I can't even focus on. Wait. I can't even focus on what bro is saying because that's gotta be him, right? I'm not. I'm not tripping, chat. There's no way I'm tripping, bro. I feel like the world will never know. This gotta be like his second account or something. Old, and he suspects scary stuff is down. That's such there. a distinct He's like voice. Wrong. So James agreed. The moment you walk in this room, it's f***ing creepy. It makes no sense. Over by James, there's a random stool and a microwave. That is it plugged in? No. Okay. So it gets weirder. How you are able to sound very very similar to a woman's voice? <laughs> In the center of the room is a large cedar wood box. On the outside is a door that unlocks only from the outside. Sticking out the top of the mysterious nondescript box is a pipe for giving someone air. Damn, that's and a nice pipe. Uh. That, this is what it is. It is a small room with chairs. Okay. Nothing else. He finds a small hidden room where someone can be kept secret down here without anyone going down to find them for a long time. What was being kept down here? I fear I already- I can't listen to his voice without like not laughing, bro. Like I'm having a really hard time right now, bro. <laughs> I'm having a really hard time, bro. Chat, I'm, try I'm trying to focus. I didn't know it was this guy. I wouldn't have clicked this <laughs> How is this supposed to be scary when bro's talking like that? Like, dang. You know the answer. James, look at this. James, look at this. There's scratch marks. There are legit scratch marks. Okay. There are f***ing Hey, appreciate the bits. Marks. Drilled into the ceiling of the secret prison place are holes that look like they were put there for further ventilation. Before we go any further, I want to talk about this video Oh, sponsor. shut the f***. Uh, Everyone bro, this whole this whole section is a sponsor. Slashed across these holes are marks that do resemble human nails raking themselves across the surface. So what? Is this again. the boogeyman? So that the fresh air could still come in, but you couldn't get your hand up there. You okay. can reach out and signal to people right there. Let's recap. 
Thus far, he's found a box that could be meant for holding people. Outside of this box is a stool where someone could sit down and enjoy listening to their helpless screaming and scratching sounds for hours until it was meal time. At which point, they were presumably <laughs> until it was meal time. What were they having for dinner? Burger King foot lettuce, <laughs> number fifty. Get the. F he served some microwaved food to keep them alive for another day in the basement. Oh, and one more scary thing. So is this guy just holding people hostage? The thing of all, as a matter of fact, if you're wondering what eventually became of the people held in the basement, it becomes clear when he comes across an old contraption that's had plenty of use over the years. This is actually an old incinerator i guess when they were finished they were let out of the box and loaded into the incinerator there's the ash down there that's actually there. crazy he makes a comment about finding ash at the bottom i suppose the scary thing has been fired up in recent years chat i can't there's watch great... i can't do it bro i can't i'm like i'm trying so hard bro i'm trying so hard bro this has to be burger king foot lettuce bro's voice is so like <laughs> Yeah, we gotta find so I can't do it. I, I'm trying. I'm trying my hardest. Like this is too hard, bro. Oh my god. All right, all right, all right. We're gonna find some other. Shit, okay. Uh, what should we watch? What should we watch? Oh, we could do this one. Eight most disturbing things discovered in basements. This is by Chilling Scares. Building your online business. This one gotta be different, bro. It can't be the same guy. Uh oh. Uh oh. His first discovery happened to multiple students of Ohio State University back in September of 2013. The group of students only recently started leasing an off-campus house close to the school, and it was in this house where they would make a disturbing find in the basement. Only a month after moving in, the students would start to notice small yet strange occurrences in the house. Things like cupboards, their oven, and even their microwave being left open. The house was three stories, with five students on the first floor and ten others on the second and third. So obviously it was difficult to keep track of everyone, but when they realized only in Ohio, really, they decided to search the house, more specifically the basement. What they found was a locked door, which they had originally assumed was a utility closet that the landlord wanted to be kept locked. Though at no point in time was this confirmed, and after calling the landlord about it, they were informed this wasn't the case. The door should not have been locked for any reason. The landlord would end up sending a maintenance worker to check it out. And after breaking down the door, a room that was clearly being lived in was revealed. The room had framed photos and school textbooks scattered around. Oh, hell no. Nah. The students would change all the locks that night and leave a note for whoever was living in the room saying to call them. The man would actually end up calling the number and later be removed from the household. What the it turns frick? out the guy was a cousin to one of the house's previous residents, which is how he got a key in the first place. Bro, imagine living somewhere and then finding out somebody's been living in your basement the whole time. Dude, I'd freak out. Chad, I'd freak out. That's creepy, right? The students even recalled running into the man in the basement at one point earlier in the month and asking who he was, but only to be met with a very vague answer. Ultimately, the students would blame the leasing company of the home for the incident, as they were responsible for failing to change the locks from the year before. Nick, go check your basement. I don't have a basement. In unless. June 2020, unless I think I don't, but I really do. Make a life-threatening discovery. <laughs> Unknown to both of them at the time was the fact that the house itself was built over a well. And so at one point, when Christopher was making his way across the room, the floorboards just underneath him would snap, which caused him to fall the 25 foot drop to the bottom. Fortunately, there was water at the bottom to break his fall, though this meant Christopher would have to use the rocks on the wall to hold his head what above the, the water while he waited for the local fire department to arrive. And to make things worse, the water itself was at an extremely low temperature. Though, after only a few minutes, the fire department oh, was able to successfully get Christopher no. out using a hauling system. And other than almost getting hypothermia, Christopher would make it out unhurt. Oh, hell no! Bro fell 25 feet through his... Like, what? Mike Carroll was a man who lived in a small house in Lake Grove, New York. Okay. Which was the same house he had grown up in. Mike was 57 at the time, and only a few months prior had purchased the house. Though, while he was in the basement, Mike would make a disturbing discovery he would find a full set of human bones buried under some dirt. Nah, But nah. what makes this find so disturbing is the fact that the bones match the DNA of his father. When Mike was only eight months old, his father was said to have gone missing. And throughout his childhood, he would question his mother about this. 
but each time he was given a different story. So, of course, this made Mike want to find out for himself what had really happened to his father. What? Which is what gave him motivation to buy his childhood house in the first place. The newly found bones would obviously cause blame for the disappearance to be shifted onto his mother, though she had unfortunately passed away 20 years prior. What so, the there's no way of confirming if she was responsible or not. And therefore, what really happened... Okay, but why would you want to buy that house, bro? That's creepy. I, I can't live in places where people die and stuff, like... In January no. of 2016, an appliance repairman was responding to a call from house owner Charles Price. Though, while the repairman was working in the basement, he would claim to have noticed something moving in a covered container in a back corner. Curious, the repairman would lift off the cover and be met by a 200-pound alligator. What the f***? Running, the repairman would capture multiple pictures for proof to show the- Where's this at? Hold on. Is this in, in Florida, bro? Because down here in Florida, we'd be getting alligators everywhere. But like- this sounds like some Florida behavior. <laughs> it turns out the house owner had the alligator for more than 20 years and was supposedly using it to help him with the house's mouse infestation. What? <laughs> this motherfucker never heard of mouse traps? Are you serious? Bro, imagine. Like, what? Like, I'll, I'll occasionally get, like, ants coming around my house. That don't mean I go catch an ant eater and set that up downstairs. Like, who, who does that? <laughs> he said, damn. Bro just woke up one day and was like, I'm sick and tired of these rats. I don't want to stop him. I'm going to go get a freaking 200-pound alligator in my home. He would illegally keep the creature in a cage in his basement. What? And claim to occasionally take him out into his backyard. Shortly after the repairman made the... I got to see a video footage of him trying to take the alligator out. Like, what do you do? Put a leash on him? Do you just let him out and then just hope that he comes back into the cage? I mean, it's an alligator. Like, what if he just doesn't want to cooperate one day? And he's just like, you know, I'm real sick and tired of all this, uh, all this hostage holding that you're doing. And, uh, I just really feel like, like giving you some revenge, you know, bro could just freaking just eat him. It's an alligator. The alligator was confiscated by local animal control and That's crazy, released bro. into a better environment. This discovery was posted to Reddit by an account under the name Daily Dish. In the post, the Redditor explains how a few years ago they shared a house with some friends. And in the first few months of living in the house, they hadn't spent much time in the basement. The basement was half finished, with the other half being a sort of dirt crawl space that extended under the porch of the house. They went on to explain how one night they decided to explore it more thoroughly, and after grabbing a flashlight, they discovered a black canvas duffel bag in the very back of the dirt crawl space. Nope. Disturbingly, in I'm the out. duffel bag were two black ski masks, a nope. hunting knife, and a single black leather glove. Nope. The Redditor went on to explain how they decided to call the non-emergency police number and report the discovery. Though the police weren't interested, and therefore the house owners decided to set fire uh -oh. to everything but the hunting knife. Whether that bag had any relation to any sort of criminal activity is still unknown to this day. This next discovery comes from a guy who moved into a studio apartment in England. The guy claimed to have moved into the apartment without even viewing the place, and on arrival he would discover something pretty disturbing. So here's the apartment I moved into last week. Pretty small, pretty nice. Rent was pretty cheap, so I moved in without even viewing this looks the like place. the beginning of a horror film. And then when I got here, I realized why the rent was so cheap. The guy then goes on to give a tour of the apartment, and after a while, this sort of trap door on the floor can be seen. Got a bathroom, pretty standard. Uh-uh. How do you not notice oh, that? Here. Okay, bro, what? Hold on. You're telling me you walked through this place and you didn't see the floorboards like got a full slit side to side and it has hinges bro you can literally see the hinges my man's lying bro he either saw it or he's he was just dumb i don't feel bad for him how do you not like it has a full like it has a full handle that you can see bro oh my god you really redeemed the twerk right now you really redeemed the twerk like you really want to see this like you really want to see this Ooh. Ain't no way, right? Ain't no way it just froze, bro. Can you guys see me now? Can y'all see me? Guys, if it's frozen for you, refresh. <laughs> Chat, I freaking, I twerked so good, it literally shut the camera. Like, bro, it literally said, cut the cameras. Dead ass. <laughs> it said, cut the cameras.
My tour guide, <laughs> did your wife come in? Yes. Chat, she probably opened the door and said, nope, unplug the Wi-Fi. She said, that's it. That's it. You're f***ing done. You're done. Fired. <laughs> I said, baby, I'm working. Like, what are you, what are you trying to do, bro? Kids got to eat, okay? If that means I got to twerk a little bit, like, kids got to eat, you know? Like, damn, chat. Ruined my stream and my marriage at the same time. You see what you've done? You see what you've done? All right, back to the freaking video. Well, Look, chat, there's a handle. You tell me he didn't see that handle yeah, on the floor? Handle. So I figured, you know, a bit of underfloor storage. So let's lift this up. That the fuck goes down pretty deep. I would not go down there. Directly under this guy's apartment. Hell some no. Some sort of dungeon looking basement. Hell no. What the frick? Well, you can see the corridor going off straight to the front. Interesting graffiti on the wall. What is CCFC, and chat? Compared to the rest of the apartment, oh, the it's area KFC? itself is pretty big, <laughs> featuring many large rooms and corridors. What exactly this area was used for? Hey, look. I get it. He's freaked out, right? He didn't realize that this place was going to be, like, that bad. Okay? Understandable. But... Hear me out. Bro just got a super cheap apartment, and now he's about to get all this extra square footage. I mean, I say renovate it, right? Let's renovate it, and then we're chilling. We're big chilling now. Like, Way back in 2002, what is that, an extra five rooms we'll get? Jefferson County, Wisconsin, found that the foundation of her house was deteriorating. And so in November, she would apply for a loan to repair the foundation. But around two weeks later, while away at work, she would get a call from the workers hired to do the repair explaining how they came across a gruesome discovery. They explained that as they started to remove the soil from the foundation wall in our basement, they had unearthed the full skeletal remains of a body. Nope! The skeleton was determined to be that of a 50-year-old male. Most disturbingly, though, is the fact that after further inspection, it was determined that the house had been oh built right God. on top of an ancient burial ground that's estimated to be up to 170 years old. Experts believe that in all likelihood hundreds more skeletons are within a close proximity to the one found. This discovery would ultimately put a stop to the house's renovation altogether. Hey, but low-key, like, what are they gonna do, huh? In Bro's January dead. In January of 2010, Wally and Linda DeForest would move into their new home in Goshen, Indiana. Though, only a week after moving in, the couple would discover a live torpedo in their basement. A live torpedo? At least we weren't aware of beforehand. Both of them noted how old the thing looked, but still obviously active. There had been no drill holes to indicate it had been disarmed. Who the frick is- Okay, but who the frick is keeping torpedoes just sitting around? What the frick? I thought those were for, like, submarines and shit. Where do you even get a torpedo? You see, you, Don't you have to, like, steal one from the military? The couple would end up calling the police, who would send out a bomb squad to extract the torpedo from the property's basement. And luckily, they were able to remove it without incident. But considering the squad did confirm the explosive was still active upon arrival... The whole situation just makes you think how much Bro, worse things could have really gone. Imagine. Hold on. Imagine buying a new home. Going down to the basement, you see a <laughs> torpedo. They're like, yeah, it's still active, by the way. Like, we're going to try and get this out. But like, high key, bro, there's a good chance we're all going to blow up and die. And you're not going to have a home in the process. That really sucks, right? And this guy was easier to watch than the last dude. We literally couldn't understand a word that motherfucker was saying. <laughs> oh damn you know what really sucks twitch sucks bro why did my stream shut off bro twitch has been bugging so bad guys so many people's streams have been randomly shutting off like this past few days like i've been watching streams and like people just streams are just shutting off what did you miss you missed everything bro no point in showing up now no i'm just kidding <laughs> i'm joking i'm joking i'm joking all right chat what should we watch what should we watch i want to watch something like life of luxury but like we need to give life of luxury a break you know what i'm saying you feel me? You feel me? You feel me? Whoa! What is this? Top five real scary Wendigo encounters? What is a freaking Wendigo? Trapped in a terrifying Skinwalker Ranch? I mean, come on. What is going on here? What is a Wendigo? I don't know what a Wendigo is, but let's see. I'm watching Jeremy's Chocolate. We have two kinds. She, her, and he, him. I don't give a Anyone planning on going camping in these waning days of summer? That cool breeze may- Alright, this is my top five scary videos. I guess- Anybody know what a Wendigo is? In the folklore of some northern Algonquian peoples, a cannibalistic giant, a person who has been transformed into a monster by the consumption of human flesh. What? 
That's disgusting. All right, your let's watch. Arrow press coffee that much more satisfying, doesn't it? A little bit of frost in the grass and orange in the trees. Looks cute. Could elevate the experience. You from at? mundane to a true oneness with nature for a while anyway being one with nature is all well and good until something from within it decides to take issue with you and now that antlers is finally reaching theaters the topic of the wendigo is likely resurfacing skinwalkers shapeshifters spirits of unsatisfiable hunger and cannibalism wendigo are legendary beings that have gained a lot of notoriety in the age of the internet for a while stories of encounters with these creatures were as common as those of slenderman or the rake in fact some say that the rake is a form of wendigo Go. go figure. Today we'll be counting down the top five real scary Wendigo encounters. Okay, Keegan. Let me know if they seem real to you. Coming in number five, need more children. If anyone ever says this phrase to you, feel free to run away at speeds previously unknown to man or knock them out. You have my full support. However, if the individual in question ends up being a Wendigo, then you're probably not gonna have much luck with either of those tasks. They're just too strong and too spooky. And they get what they want most of the time, as evidenced by this story told by a now deleted Reddit. That can't be real. I wonder real. how they're doing these days. I'll do my best to abridge this story for the sake of the length of today's video, so here we go. A man, his girlfriend, and their three year old son all went out of town. Is this bro just narrating this? I wanna see video footage. I don't wanna hear your dumb. Let's see if we can get a when to go. When to go. When to go? Now to go. <laughs> let's uh, let's see if we can uh, find one. Let's see. Uh, the weird when to go forest. Get the freak out of here. Face to face with a real cryptid. Most disturbing trail cam footage no one was expecting. What the frick? Should we see that? Actual footage? You think they're serious? You think they're, you think they're actually being for real? You think there's actual footage? Or do you think that's BS? I used to be a this photographer is by Dread with this nice captures. Fancy When people see my photos, they think it's from an expensive camera, and I feel like a fraud because I'm like, no, it's just from my nice Google Pixel. I didn't think it was nice at all. I thought it looked like complete shit. With Asana, many hands coordinate across many different types of teams. I'm like going to punch an orphan. On track That's it. And on time. That's it. So I'm sick of these ads. This week, we're going to see an unknown creature followed by helicopter, a run-in with Mothman, an unidentified flying being, a heartfelt rescue, and a bizarre submission from a viewer looking for answers. What the f is that? Let's get into the clip. A frog bat? Our first video takes place in February of 2011, where a family has gone out to do a little target practice. The father okay. set up some bottles and cans as targets, and as you can see, is showing his son how to aim the rifle. The wife who posted the video said that there was a helicopter circling them the entire time. She thought they might be circling because they saw them shooting in the field. But she yeah, quickly Chad, this is just an episode of Star Wars. I don't know what the hell we were just looking at. Realized that the helicopter wasn't after them. In the video, after the son fires the 22, dad grabs the shotgun. He's right. excited. His father starts clapping and almost Whoa, y'all see, see that see dad turn his head. And he notices the figure in the top right of your screen running. Dad said, "Give me that." That's it. Let's him phone, up. You can see him look back over to his right. For what now, was that? everyone else seems to be oblivious. All Let's right. Slow it down. First of all, Somebody please uh, teach this kid how to shoot properly. You shouldn't blow back and have to do a full ass jump whenever you shoot any gun, to be honest. You need better footing if that's what happens. There's the black figure running. I'll highlight it for you guys. Right there. In the last few frames of the clip, you can see the figure has gone from running to crouched on all fours on some rocks. Many people that have seen the video have said that the government was on a covert mission hunting Bigfoot. And now, if this creature isn't a Sasquatch or a Dogman or any of the above, what Big could foot. it be? The only That's other not thing big I enough. can think of is that maybe someone escaped from police custody or yeah. jail or he's a suspect on the run. That would help explain the helicopter. I am very interested in what you guys think about this one. Please That's let just me know. a tall man. Yeah, he ain't big enough to be Bigfoot. Now, the backstory of this video is amazing, if true. A drone was said to have captured this tree moving violently in the forest. That does look pretty People violent. claiming to have seen something similar before say it is the work of a Bigfoot shaking a tree, which would be a very impressive feat for sure. Admittedly, the more I watch it, the more skeptical I become. Has anyone ever seen anything what like this? What the frick? In an eerie video coming out of a suburban neighborhood in Randolph, Massachusetts, this is about a, turkeys. a flock of turkeys are shown circling a dead cat for okay. hours. <laughs> There's a ritual, chat. The turkeys are posting some kind of freaking satanic ritual circling this cat. Like, what the frick? More and more turkeys began to emerge from the nearby woods and join in on the infinite loop. Very creepy for sure. That's just weird. Look at them all. They're all like this. Hee-haw. Hoo. Hoo. Hee-haw. Hoo. Hoo. 
<laughs> they're probably ha they're probably chanting some shit and they're like, we're gonna eat tonight. We're gonna eat tonight. Thanksgiving revenge. <laughs> A turkey's Thanksgiving right here. If anyone has any insight on this event, I'd love to know more. Sleepwalker? In my last video, I mentioned to someone in the comments. What is that? that? Creepy kids scare me oh, as sleepwalking. much as anything caught on camera. And this particular oh, girl right what? here scares the bejesus out of me. Yeah. Oh my. So needless to say, our next Mother trail cam fricker. capture made my heart drop. Taken at 2.45 a.m. on October 15th of 2015, a trail camera set up to track the movement of gray wolves on a man's property revealed this terrifying photo. As Is that you a look little girl? The tree, you can see the back of a young girl walking away from the camera. Chat right here, right here. If you look closely, you can see she's clutching a teddy bear. Or some oh my sort god! Of animal. What is she doing out there? Could there be a campsite nearby or a home she is sleepwalking from? Oh, that is, is she a ghost? Creepy, bro. All I do know is that she's way too young to be in those woods at night. And alone. She's too young to be alone. A man like... in Kentucky put a trail cam up behind his house after finding mysterious holes being dug on his property. It's very hard to see the That's a giant the backdrop of night, but you can see the outline of a man or creature walking. He isn't sure what he's looking what at here. The heck? Neither am I. We do agree that it looks like a creature with a thick, dark hair. That looks huge. We'll judge. As far as the mysterious holes, they are still showing up. The last girl's 11? <laughs> Probably. <laughs> the following adventure was caught on the next best thing to the trail camera. The ring doorbell camera. And as you'll see, it's quite the mismatch. A 20-pound Frenchie named Jules is catching some shade on the front stoop of her home when three very unwanted guests show up. As oh, you can shoot. see, Jules doesn't hesitate and flies down the stairs, ready to fight. Two of the bears that are in camera view are visibly seeing this little pup charging at them. Jules got no chill. And annoys the bears until they decide to retreat. <laughs> the old adage true. It's not the size of the dog in the fight, but the size of the fight in the dog. What the frick? Dog really said, not on my property! Like that bear even said, yo, chill! Daryl, chill! I'm just trying to catch some Z's. Jules will enjoy all the treats she can handle. Yeah, what the frick? That's actually Talk wild. Talk about a heavyweight matchup that dog's between lucky two to be of alive. the most skilled scavengers in the entire animal kingdom. A bald eagle squares off with a coyote for what's left of a deer carcass. The video was taken in the Swan Valley of Montana, just north of Missoula, Montana. Two animals with the taste for deer meat. While the coyote has a big size advantage in terms of weight, the eagle's massive wingspan makes the canine look small by comparison. The two animals continue to spar back and Holy forth in frick. this chess match, and at one point, a sneaky crow even tries to get in on the action. Ultimately, the eagle ends up disappearing with a healthy piece of meat in its mouth, while the coyote presumably was able to chow down on the rest. I like meat in my mouth too. Now, I don't blame I have it. seen the following the video pop up on social media and some other sites that I follow but I've never heard a good explanation of what it is. I haven't been able to find where this took place or many other details. What I personally see is some type of strange alien creature crawling awkwardly on a dirt road. The f is that? It seems to be in more of a feminine shape, covered in a grayish brown skin, but that's not even the weird part. Its hands and fingers look to be abnormally large and- Well, who's videotaping this is what I want to know. Its head has a strange shape, and at first glance looks like this prop from the movie Alien. Yeah, is that's... that what this entire clip is? All right, that's yeah. over-dramatized, though. Uh, the head's not that big, but, like, or something more damn, sinister. did it wrong. If anyone knows, please comment down below. Or I guess it is, actually. As much info as possible. Chat, why are these videos always taken on the worst cameras in existence, bro? It's straight, like, 140p footage. Like, who's the people that are filming these, bro? This is why I don't believe it. Nobody ever catches these, these on anything more than three pixels oh my god this amazing clip captured in night vision shows a mountain lion attack on a deer trying to quench his thirst in a nearby is that stream. a skunk the mountain lion pounces on its prey when we slow it down we can see that the deer never saw the lion coming a perfectly yeah, did it. stealthy attack most likely ending in a healthy meal for the lion that's crazy bro this game nature crazy this game what ready. i'm not ready for it oh my god it's complete
We should all know that moms are the best. Right. No matter which animal species you encounter, mothers are always willing to go to any lengths to protect their young. A trail camera placed near a wolf's den captured a touching oh. moment when a mother wolf has realized that her pups are in danger. The snow and ice around the den was thawing oh, that's cute, and filling bro. it up with water. This that's was potentially going to drown the young pups. Your mother's weak as hell? Cast. All right, bro. As her instincts <laughs> kicked in, you can see her quickly plucking each one out to safety. This looks to me like another instance of mother knows best. Mama! Mama! This photo was reportedly captured on a cell phone in West Virginia. What the frick is that? If you're a cryptid enthusiast, then you have no problem identifying this creature. Okay. If you're not familiar, this is a photo of Mothman, a humanoid creature with wings. Mothman was first reported in Point Pleasant. I thought we West saw Virginia those in the back rooms. In the 1960s, a couple reported they saw a large, gray, flying creature with glowing red eyes. Oh hell! No. After the initial sighting, people came out of the woodwork claiming they had seen something similar. The most notable characteristic that they all mentioned is that he's got no. D That's the most like noticeable characteristic. How you gonna be this big and this jacked, and you ain't got no ding? Dong. I mean, it was come his on menacing now. red eyes. Soon, oh, moth it was his menacing red eyes, Jack. My bad. Man sightings had taken over. Research has proven that there are elaborate hoaxes that have been mixed in with factual evidence, making it impossible to say one way or another whether these creatures exist. You be the judge, and I'd love to know if anyone has had any Mothman experiences. I've never had a Mothman experience. <laughs> but I'd like to! <laughs> Speaking of Mothman, this alarming video had many people Jesus? stumped when it All right, flew what into is mainstream that? television. A man from California taped this and honestly thought he was witnessing Jesus Christ descend from heaven. Now, I don't know what this is, but I'd have to agree that I see a silhouette of a man and he does look like he's floating down from the sky. He sure does, but you know, it's also filmed on straight four pixel phone. Like, just a four-pixel phone, bro. So, like, how are we ever supposed to believe anything that we see when y'all can't even use a decent phone? Bro, doesn't, like, 99% of America have iPhones by now? I mean, come on. They've been out for so long. You're telling me the, the nearest camera that could catch this footage is, like, a Nokia from freaking 1980? Like, the first ever cell phone? Like, what? Guy. The man said he continued to float until he disappeared. Chat, I mean, this got so many pixels, bro. Like... It's a full rainbow. Appeared to an unknown location. The man was also adamant it's about like a static saw, TV. And noted that he lives near an airport, so it couldn't have been a drone or other flying object, because they aren't allowed in the airspace. Whatever. Could bro. this be something we aren't supposed to know about? He's on McDonald's Wi-Fi. That ain't gonna corrupt the original footage. It don't matter if you're on Wi-Fi or not. You could be trapped with no service at all, and the the video footage on a regular phone is still going to be decent. You'd still be able to see what's going on. Like, you'd be able to see features and stuff. I get it this kind of far, but, like, to be that pixelated, get out of here. A government entity or an alien? Drop me a comment about what you might think this is. Mm, I don't think it's anything. Now this clip will get the adrenaline pumping. Oh. Holy smokes. And finally, at the last minute, he gets him loose. Woo! And thank goodness, owner and dog are safe. That's a solid camera capture. Glad everyone is safe. That boy's a hero! That this was next trail crazy, chat. Hold on, I gotta see that timing again, safe. bro. That timing is crazy, bro. Look at this. Finally, at the last minute, he gets him loose. Thank goodness. Owner. That was a clutch. W. My man's is a W. That timing was beyond perfect. What? This next trail cam capture is pretty exciting. It was sent in to me at stories at dread.army by Kyle R. from Virginia. Kyle put up a trail camera to keep an eye on a little path he has on his property. The path weaves and winds down to the water's edge where he has his boat docked. He primarily put it up to just be aware of who's using the path. And he has seen the usual wildlife native to Virginia. Deer, squirrels, that boy just looking down? That's all creepy. the birds you can count. Probably the most interesting thing he's come across is a flock of turkeys. And a few teenagers looking for a place to hang out. That was until he realized his camera had captured this disturbing photo. Oh, let me see it. The photo shows a seemingly gigantic winged 
lizard or frog. It's Yoda's like with black dead eyes. Freaking deformed son. I'm literally guessing at what this is. Its wingspan covers the lens and has at least two, but possibly four feet with talons. Yeah, okay. The wings seem to have almost a butterfly pattern on them. Right. Nobody mm-hmm. seems to know what this is. Kyle sent it in hoping the creature could be identified. But like him, I've never seen anything like this. Please drop me a comment if you have any ideas what this thing could be. I don't. Could be my big juicy fat <laughs> Guys, listen. Your boys gotta go, okay? Your boys gotta go. But I had fun, and we hung out, and we watched some and whatnot, right? Go ahead, subscribe to my YouTube, bro. Go subscribe to my vlog channel too, bro. Because we got vlogs, and we got more vlogs coming out. We got more YouTube videos coming out, so make sure you turn on post notifications. And allow them suckers for always, so you always get notified when I'm streaming, bro.